or book one, proposition number 35 of Euclid's Elements, parallelograms which are on the same base and in the same parallels are equal to one another. So if we start with two parallelograms, A, B, C, D, and E, B, C, F, and they start on the same base, B, C, and finish on the same parallel line, this line A, F, then what we're trying to prove is that these two parallelograms are equal to each other. So to start this, we'll use some properties of parallelograms. So due to book one, proposition number 34, which essentially says in a parallelogram that opposite sides and opposite angles are equal to each other. So in this parallelogram, A, B, C, D, the opposite sides, A, D, and B, C are equal. So A, D equals B, C. And we can use the same logic to show that in the parallelogram, E, B, C, F, that EF is also equal to BC. So EF equals BC. And due to common notion number one, we know that since both of these are equal to BC, that means they're equal to each other. So AD is equal to EF. And then these two sides, AD and EF, if we just add the side DE to each of them, using common notion number two, then we'll have that AE is equal to DF. So AE equals DF, or in other words, this line here, AE is equal to this line here, DF. And we'll again use this book one proposition number 34, but this time on the sides AB and DC. So AB is equal to DC. And then we'll use book one, proposition number 29, which essentially says if we have two parallel lines and a transversal going through them, that the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. So we'll look at this side AB, which is parallel to the side DC, and we have this transversal AF going through it. So this exterior angle must equal this interior opposite angle. So angle FDC is equal to angle FAB. And now notice that if we look at these triangles, ABE, and DCF, that they share the sides AB and DC in common, the sides AE and DF in common, and the angles between those sides, this angle here and this angle here, these are equal as well. So we have all the conditions we need for the side angle side theorem. So due to book one, proposition number four, these two triangles, triangle ABE, and triangle DCF are equal. So DCF. And now what we want to do, since each of these triangles share this small triangle here, DEG in common, we can just use common notion number three and subtract that off. So if we use common notion number three, we're essentially subtracting the triangle D eg from each side of this equation and what we're left with are these two trapezoids essentially the trapezoid abgd and the trapezoid fcge so let's write that those are equal that abgd is equal to the trapezoid fcge so ABGE is equal to FCGE. Now going back up, we can add this triangle here to each of them. So let's add triangle GBC to each. And we can do that because of common notion number two. We're adding triangle GBC to each side 
this equation involving two equal trapezoids. But notice what happens when we add to these two trapezoids. So we have this trapezoid and now we're adding this triangle here. But notice that once we add the triangle, we're back to this original parallelogram, A, B, C, D. But if we look at the other side, we have this trapezoid here and we're adding this triangle, which gets us back to the parallelogram EBCF. So by adding this triangle GBC to each side, we're saying that the parallelogram ABCD would be equal to the parallelogram EBCF. And that was exactly what we're trying to prove so we can end with QED.